Hello, my name is Colby Crouch. Um, I'm 15 from Paducah, Kentucky, and um, I'm going to give you a little free open source operating system reviews and such, kind of a newscast, uh, maybe. Um, I'm a Linux guy. I've been using Linux for about three years. And today, or not today, but a few days ago, I ventured into the FreeBSD world and give you a little review of that. Um, FreeBSD is very different. Uh, on the low-level side, but all the most of the user applications are the same, your desktop environments and such. Um, kernel's different. Uh, obviously, the user space tools, such as the shell, is different. But um, the installer for FreeBSD, sysinstall, is very detailed. There's many options, uh, many optional steps and steps you have to take. And there's a lot of documentation and help on it. So it's a great tool. Um, may seem a little overwhelming if you don't do a little bit of reading or don't really pay attention to the installer, but you should be able to get it done. Um, FreeBSD is very fast and very reliable. Um, very up to date, actually. Um, most of the applications are maybe a, a version, uh, usually like a few minor versions, maybe behind, or usually not a major version behind. Um, but, uh, you know, you're going to be pretty up-to-date, and they update applications pretty often, I think. Um, FreeBSD has a somewhat conservative release cycle. Um, about every 18 months or so, they uh, release a new major version. Um, you're, you might you'd have to load your drivers. Um, it, uh, the hardware detection may not be what, you, you know, what you're used to in Linux or a lot of distributions, like your mainstream, SUSE, Ubuntu, uh, everything like that. But give it a try. Um, it's a great operating system. It's different, um, especially since if you're going from the ground up and building it, which you may have to do or you may want to do, and you just you really make it whatever you want, to be, want it to be. You know, It doesn't really come with much by default. You can make a server, a desktop, a light desktop, a big bloated desktop with everything, you know, um, anything you want it to be. And, and I recommend you do that instead of using an already pre-built so you can learn a lot about BSD in the process of doing that and really learn a lot about Unix and you'll learn stuff about Linux too because uh, BSD is it's almost going to force you to learn some things. Um, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I'll have more views. This camera just doesn't want to take a very long amount of time, maybe like two minutes or something. So go to, I think, freebsd.org.